Many Bemidjians are, are on high alert after a string of burglaries hit all across town this week. Our Brenda Max spoke to residents has a story. I was in shock and I was I was mad. It was a typical work day for Amanda. I had my car in the garage, got in my driver's seat, and that's when I looked over and everything from every compartment was thrown all over. My car was just trashed. But that wasn't the only thing she noticed. And I'm on the phone with 911. I got out. And that's my notice. All the cabinets in the garage have been open. There's pictures all over the garage floor. And this is in her first encounter with theft. Just over a week ago, her son's bike was stolen. It, it's just that feeling when somebody broke into something. Where would I put it? Other than that. That same Tuesday night, several burglaries were reported along 16th and 21st Street by Park Avenue. Her neighbors say they noticed a suspicious car driving around at 3 in the morning. Every morning I get up and I walk outside and look, I had two arrows sticking in my yard over in my lot in the ground. And all across social media, Bemidjians shared their similar frustration. We're actually tired of people coming around and taking things that we have worked for. And here police records show there are at least two dozen home and car break-ins reported in less than two weeks. It has uh, spread from the north end of town to the center and now down in Nymore. Authorities say incidents like these doesn't happen often, but when it does, it happens in clusters, possibly by one or two groups of people. Yeah, we are getting some possible suspects or suspect names and we're following those uh, to the best that we can, but these are Often these are crimes of opportunity and they're very difficult to solve because there's not much evidence left. And while police continue investigating all cases, they're reminding residents to take extra precautions. These are crimes of opportunity and people can really protect themselves by making it difficult. Um, criminals typically tend to be lazy and they go for the easy target. Thing with garages, lock them up at night, close your garage doors and uh, make yourself a difficult victim and odds are um, you'll protect your property. In Bemidji, Brenda Mack, Lincoln News. Authorities are also encouraging the public to notify them of any suspicious activity. You can also run crime searches and provide tips on raisedonline.com. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.